Right, so now you've got to use the direct selection tool and you're going to start manipulating your type by clicking on the individual nodes that you want to move. So I'll start with this one up here for the U and bring this one in so that I can get it on the page. So you might see some strange things happening with your type and you might want to try and control it somewhat. And you also have uh, little arms on the text as well. So you can use this to curve text even further. And that will maybe drag it down or take it up to uh, follow the form. So to do that, you just click on the node, just like when you're working on a, uh, a shape, and then click on the node with the direct selection tool, and that will allow it to curve up or down. And so you move along and just continue with that work. And I accidentally left, left this type a little bit bigger, so I'm going to squish it down now. Don't forget you've got these little arms if you want to emphasise any spots around curves. And this was also left a bit big. But I think it's better having the text on the page so it doesn't look unfinished. So this is very rough. Just as a demo, I expect you to take a bit more time than this to do something really lovely with your text. Uh, so, for example, if you took it off, that's looking pretty rough. Okay, I'll go back and fix it up. Um, but that gives you a starting point. And um, then you're going to save that and then you'll go back with the pen tool again and then you'll create the next pen tool and you'll create the next row of text. So click and drag. And the arms go forward uh, towards the along the line where you're wanting to head is, I guess, the best description for how to do those. Text tool and then add your next row of text. Choose which typeface you like and follow the same thing. And remember when things recede, they get smaller. So you're wanting to give that feeling of depth to that as well.